Dziękuję bardzo. Dzień dobry, panie i panowie. Cześć. Cześć. What a beautiful day here. What a beautiful day. It's getting warmer and warmer every single day. And we're at a in a beautiful place. What a, be what a beautiful flowers. Look at all these flowers that are blossoming. Look at this. We got like a uh, mini botanical gardens here with all the flowers. In any case, when we first got to Warsaw, Warsaw, we didn't really know what to make of it, to be honest with you. We didn't know what to expect. And we weren't yet sure where we were going to live, whether we were going to stay here or not, uh, you know, which neighborhood. And it took some time, but it finally got around to it. We got around to it, and we now have kind of an understanding of, of Warsaw. And Warsaw is a very, very unique city. And after being here for a while, we have come to a realization that Warsaw is a truly unique city because it has a lot of aspects that not every city has. And, and many other cities are far from what Warsaw has. It's a very unique city that gives you a lot of things in one place that you may not get in many other cities. And so in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you why I feel that Warsaw is better than your city. And I'm gonna be explaining it to you using our experience and several crucial points that exist here in Warsaw in tandem than that rarely exist in other cities. And after this video, you will realize how great Warsaw is and that your city has a lot of, a lot of shortcomings. But before we do that, we got to do something else real quick. So we arrived at this burger place and there's a line to get in. I have never seen that before. There's a line to get to a burger place. It's got to be good. Marina says this is the best burger I'm going to have in my life. She <laughs> promised me the burger of my life here. Moisa promised you. Or Moisa promised me. <laughs> Not <But> Marina. <laughs> Marina said this is going to be a great burger. So let's hope so. I have very, very high expectations. All right, guys, we made it. We finally made it after the wait. There's a crazy line over there. And we got these two drinks while we are waiting for the burgers. We got this yerbata, 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 yerba mate. Okay, so we got the burgers. Look at this burger. I was afraid it might be small, but it's huge. This one is mine. That one is Marina's. That's insane. Insane. My mouth is watering right now. I gotta wait for Marina to come back. And we're gonna be digging into this right here. So here's the burger. Look at this burger. Mm. Looks so good. Bon appetit to everybody. Smashnego. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is the conclusion here. Absolutely destroyed it. Marina also did a good job. You are satisfied? Or we should, should we get another burger? No. No, okay, so that's it. We are done just kind of finishing these two drinks here. Pretty good drinks. They go well with the burgers. That was a great burger. Now we are satisfied. And we are ready to continue with the day. Now, as I was saying earlier, I realized that over time that Warsaw has a lot going for itself. And I initially made a big list of things that, you know, Warsaw has that's either, you know, it's doing better than other cities or just, you know, other cities don't have it or, you know, stuff like that. But instead of boring you with a long, banal list of things you've heard about before, I condensed the whole list into four main points. These are four important points 
that Warsaw in tandem, in combination, does better than lots of other cities I know. Now, other cities might have one or two of these, but I challenge you to have a city that has the full package, the complete package like this city does. Now, the first thing that I believe Warsaw does really, really well is the infrastructure, public infrastructure. I am talking about mainly public transport, obviously, as somebody without a car. I'm talking about public transport. And honestly, I do not remember the last time I was so excited about public transport like you have it here. I got the uh, the Warsawski, uh Mieszka, Karta Mieszka, the um, the main, like the monthly, the three monthly card. I have it in my pocket all the time. I can take anything that I want. It's seamless. It's easy. It's high tech. It's modern. It works really, really well. Public transportation. And I've lived in a lot of places, right? I, I believe this is much better than New York's. This is definitely better than Kiev's. Because in Kiev, mostly you just take the metro, everything else, buses, it's just a mess. In New York, the metro can break down from time to time. There are delays. Um, if you've lived in Brooklyn or uh, Manhattan, you probably heard of fire and decalb. I heard that all the time when I was commuting. Other cities, you know, I lived all over the place. And sure, some cities have really good ones. But I honestly do not remember the last time I was just looking forward to riding various forms of transportation around war. So it's never packed to the brim, at least I haven't experienced. It never, there's no delays, it's high tech, it, it tells you when they come, when it doesn't come. So from that perspective, it got, it got it covered. But not only that, we're talking about roads, we're talking about bike lanes, we're talking about just, you know, how the whole city is laid out, right? With public transportation being at the forefront but the roads are excellent everything else is excellent but for me obviously public transportation is the big winner and that is the first point here we are at the uh, Pawats Kulture Kulture in Auki and we want to check out the um, the viewing area the area where you can see the whole thing the um, the Vista Point, the Vista Point. Check out this little car here. Warsaw self-drive tour. What's a self-drive tour? I can drive myself? Polski Fiat, wow. That is awesome. I didn't even know there was a Polski Fiat. Look at this little thing. 650, 126, wow. Incredible, incredible. Here you have like a old bus old school bus that uh, looks really nice a really really cool I'm guessing like what 70s something like that 80s it looks uh, yeah it looks very uh, very eye-catching looks like there's a line to get in but we are gonna rough it out just to see what it's like over there, because I heard it's really, really nice. And here we are on the top, the top of the world. This is the top of the world right here. And you can even leave your locks over here. Wow, look at that. Look at that Warsaw. Looks amazing looks amazing yeah. all right look at that view that's a nice view actually of this modern building here and that looks awesome Accenture. This is a cool building right here. That looks great, huh? 
All right, we just finished um, the uh, the going up on the roof to the uh, to the area to the viewpoint, the vista point, and that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of people through there actually. Uh, we didn't expect that many people there, but you know it's it's a weekend, so I guess it's normal. But uh, definitely a lot of fun, some good views. And now we are gonna go and get some coffee, just chill for a minute. Now the second reason that Warsaw is better than your city is the diverse food options. And this cannot be understated. Uh, one day we had Jamaican food, then we had Indian food, but not regular Indian food. Uh, kind of these little Indian snacks. Um, I've been having Mexican food um, two or three times already, different restaurants. Uh, what else did we have? Did we have something else? Oh, we, we had Korean food yesterday. Uh, when we were having Indian food, after Jamaican food... And ramen. And ramen. We passed by um, Argentinian place that had really, really good reviews. Uh, ramen. We had, uh, we had ramen here. And really, opening up like Google Maps or talking to people, uh, there's tons and tons of really, really solid options that is pretty much like on the New York level, right? On the New York level. New York is where it's at when it comes to international food. And so this city surprisingly had it. Now, yes, New York has got it, but does your city have it? Does your city have this kind of diverse food options? If you are, if you are in Eastern Europe, the answer is probably no, because Kiev definitely does not have this. I mean, it's, it tries, it tries to come close, it tries to kind of have its attempt, but it's nowhere near. If you're living in a second tier city, you're also out of luck, because you're not going to have these options. You're going to have maybe a Mexican place here and there. Maybe you're going to have a, uh, you know, a sushi place here and there. You're not going to have Argentinian food. You're not going to have Jamaican food. You're not going to have Israeli food. Warsaw actually surprised me in that respect, because I'm a foodie. And that's one of the things I kind of, well, didn't really like about Kiev is that you're kind of limited with food options. That's one thing I really love about New York. You want any kind of food. And Warsaw definitely, definitely did not disappoint in that regard. Because in Kiev, you have a couple of options and it's not going to be as authentic. Here, listen, you want Argentinian food? You got it. Uh, you want Israeli food? You have it. Uh, there's a really good uh, Lebanese, Lebanese food that I found. A uh, really good Syrian uh, kebab place that somebody recommended over on the on the right bank in uh, pra Praga neighborhood. Lots of options, and frankly, it's not available in all cities. Let's be honest here. Only only certain cities are like this. And Warsaw is definitely one of them. And so if you're a foodie like me, or like Marina here, you are not gonna be disappointed here, for sure. Here we have a list of all the cities we need to visit. Wroclaw, Zielona Gora, Szczecin, Poznań, Olsztyn, Łódź, Koszalin, Gdansk, Bigdosh, Bitgosh. We've been to Poznań, Łódź, and Gdansk. So we need to visit all these cities. And on the other side, we have international cities. We have Berlin, Berno, Bern, Bruxelles, Brussels, Dublin, The Hague, Lisbon, London, Luxembourg, Madrid, and Paris. Where are we going to go? Where do you want to go? Out of all these cities, I want to go to Lisbon. That is the city I want to go to. Here's a perfect example. We got a Greek restaurant and down there we have that Mexican place over there. And across the street we got a Vietnamese place. Do I need to say more? This is the place we're at, it's called Coffee Desk. And it looks very, very cool, very stylish. Everybody's working on their laptops. We're splitting this cake right here. 
Yeah. And this is actually a sirnik, sirnik, I believe in Polish it's called, with halva, halva over here. Never had it before, very interesting combination. And this is perfect for two of us because it's kind of kind of on the big side. Uh, it's just going to be too much for, for somebody like me. And that way we can split it. And then we got some rose lemonade over here. And we got the teas coming as well. That was a nice break after all the walking. Very cool coffee shop. Very, very modern. People are all working on their laptops. Uh, definitely reminds me of New York, of Brooklyn, of uh, Williamsburg, I would say. Williamsburg is the perfect kind of neighborhood where you would see such a coffee shop and speaking of modern I want to tell you about point number three why Warsaw is better than your city and that is here in Warsaw you have a very interesting mix of kind of this old style um, more traditional classical architecture style with very very modern and you know you can interpret it in many ways right for instance if you want to live in a classical type building, uh, maybe a building such as those, you have an option. If you want to build in, uh, live in something more modern, like uh, one of the other uh, you know, many, many balconies and buildings that I talked about in previous videos, you have that option as well. But that's just one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is that Warsaw is an extremely modern city. You know, it's not standing still. A lot of cities here in Europe, they were built centuries ago and they're just there, right? You come, you admire, you look at it, but that's great and all. But, you know, it's not, it's not evolving, it's not, it's not being developed. There's a, re there's a reason that Europe is really called the old world, whereas North America is called the new world. And Warsaw is the perfect mix of both. Most importantly to me, this signifies that the city is not standing still that the city is evolving, that the country is evolving, that the capital, which is really the face of the country in many ways, is accelerating into the future. And then I started looking into it. And then I learned that Poland had the best economic result from 1989 to 2018 in all of Europe. And that makes sense, because this is a city that's evolving. This is a place that's evolving. And it gives you a lot of options. It, it, creates a mosaic of interesting structures. It makes you feel that you're somewhere where things are gonna be growing around you, where you're gonna be part of the future. And for me, that is important because yeah, while Paris and Madrid and Lisbon are nice, at the end of the day, they had their glory days behind them centuries ago. It's, it's, a, it's the, the, these places are kind of static, they're standing still. Whereas being here, you're kind of on the edge of growth. Because the Warsaw of three years ago is not the Warsaw of five years ago. The Warsaw of five years ago is not the same as the Warsaw of 10 years ago. And the Warsaw of 10 years ago is not the same as the Warsaw of 20 years ago. But even the Warsaw of today, it's really not the same as the Warsaw of two to three years ago. That's how much things are evolving, and I like that. I like to be part of somewhere that's growing so rapidly that people that have been here two or three years ago, according to the people I've spoken with, expats and locals alike, are just amazed of how the city is evolving. And for me personally, I believe that's a great asset and that's a great benefit over a city that's uh, purely modern, like in the new world, or purely old, classical, traditional, whatever you want to call it, that you have in kind of the rest of Europe. So for me, that's a huge, huge benefit and makes me feel uh, very good about, about being here. Back to Ochota, and Ochota feels really, really good. Ochota feels great. Great neighborhood, one of many, each one with its own style, taste, colors, its own thing. 
Lots and lots of great neighborhoods to explore here. And last, but certainly not least, why Warsaw is better than your city is because of a very, very important thing, and that's called safety. We are getting the complete package. We're getting everything, and yet we are living in a big modern city that is relatively safe. How do I know that? Well, I've lived in a lot of places. Um, Eastern Europe is very, very safe. Kiev is a very safe city. In Kiev, you are not going to get into any trouble unless you are really, really, really looking for trouble. New York City, you got to watch your back. Trouble will find you, even if you don't want trouble. You got to watch your back. I'm not saying, you know, it's, it's very dangerous, but uh, you have to be very careful. You have to be on guard. Western Europe, you have to be on guard, right? Anything can happen safer than U.S. And we're in Poland. We're in Warsaw. Poland is safe. Warsaw is safe. And that means you're getting all the benefits, everything that I talked about, plus safety. And now we are getting to the really interesting parts because... I talked about four main things that are very, very hard to find in tandem. Very, very hard to find in tandem in other places. So, for instance, you might be in a city that uh, has modern, it's modern. A city that has restaurants and diverse food and you can get Nepalese and Burmese and Thai and South African cuisine. But then, you know, it gets dark and you gotta watch your back leaving, right? It's dark, you don't know where you are, you gotta be careful, because anything can, can happen. Or, uh, you know, it's a safe city, like Kiev, relatively safe, there's no diverse food, it's not modern. So you're not getting that. So you kinda have to pick and choose. You know, it's one of those things that, uh, maybe you've heard of this before, uh, it's kind of like three adjectives, you know, you want easy, you want uh, cheap, and you want um, something that works. Pick two out of three. It's one of those things. And that's exactly what I'm talking about here. Except Warsaw has four of them, has all of these four. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. I only talked about the major ones. I'm not gonna bore you with the banal ones. But these four are hard to find. And if I had to guess, you're gonna have a difficult time finding these fours. Four characteristics in tandem in many cities around the world and why is that well that's because warsaw is better than your city and now do you see do you see where we're going right now do you see what we are about to approach do you see what we are approaching right now if not what you're seeing in front of us is an important landmark it's the world famous bedronka and we're about to do a quick shopping here, get some stuff for our home and for little Mosia. And so with that, we're gonna wrap it up here. Really hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if your city is better than Warsaw. I would love to hear that. We'll see you guys real soon.